Hey the folks, this is GreenYX I welcoming you right back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. This is the last ever episode of the series, episode 35. What we're going to do today is the last boss, and cinematics, credits, all that sort of stuff. See you in a sec. That's right, the last boss is actually a horseback fight in this one. Like she said. <laughs> oh shit, that was a good start, wasn't it? But like she said, she's gonna have to do the light arrow work while you try and distract him a little bit. You have to try and... Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> Keep it straight. Keep it all straight. But... The amount he turns is quite unpredictable sometimes. Shit. You can't avoid them, just speed up a bit when, when they come towards you. But I didn't do it, obviously. Gotta be locked on as well, otherwise she's not gonna do it. Probably not, anyway. Um I can't imagine it. Why are they moving? Here we go. The opponent wouldn't move. God, oh god. It is a tough little battle. I think. Ah! Dodge them. Ah, damn it. I always have trouble with this battle. It's not hard as such, but I don't know. There's just something about it that makes me do shit at it. Put it bluntly. Come on, get you. Get ya. He's so fast. Oh, why can't I? We won't be too long. Hold on. Come on, Zelda, at least start charging before you before we get to him. I can't move. I was pressing to go forward. 
I just saw that blue screw, didn't I? <laughs> Here we go, she's starting now, finally. And again, go on. We've only got three hours, but you can do it. Okay, so every time she shoots the arrow, it looks like we can only get one hit in. Which isn't exactly brilliant, but... Yeah, got it again. This is making up for all the shit we did earlier. One on one. I actually thought the horseback ride was the last of it, but no. Okay, I just saw the chance thing. Come on then. Come on, come on, charge at me. Oh, another theory, bloody hell. Going all out with theories, aren't they? It's not too much different, really, from the the mini bosses we were fighting in the castle. Not too much different at all, really. Does less damage, if anything. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure if we're meant to be doing this, or doing the chance thing that comes up, sometimes. Oh well, we, um, we've done something. Come on. Nope, <laughs> not that. We're gonna have to fight him properly by the looks of it. There's no other way around it. I'll be far off now. I wonder how you would do it if you didn't have this this attack that goes around behind enemies. I'm not sure. I'm first day. I'm first day every time Chanson comes up. 
It's never happening. Okay, so a stab through the ribs does nothing to Ganondorf. The camera angles make me a bit weird, but control. Yay! So we have finished the game. There's going to be a bit more cutscenery and plot stuff coming up. So don't <laughs> don't bugger off yet if you want to see how the game fully ends. But my overall opinion of the game is that it's one of the best out there. I don't know if I <laughs> showcased everything I liked about it, but 
I think the graphics still hold up today, although a HD remaster kind of thing, sort of like the Wind Waker HD version on Wii U, would be really nice. It would sharpen the graphics up a little bit. Put a bit more colour in it, I think. It would be amazing. It would stand up today for definite. The music, some of the best in any video game, but I would say that about any Zelda game, pretty much. <laughs> I'm a big Zelda fan. The gameplay? There are little bits that I can see why people would find a little bit tedious, like the tear collecting, the howling to the stones, maybe, the bird flying. And the controls are a little bit off sometimes, but with the GameCube version, I don't think that would be the case. I think it's just a Wiimote issue. But overall, I think the gameplay is really good. Uh, dungeons, stand up to Zelda quality, kind of thing. The story, I think it's good. I think it's a lot more in-depth than most Zelda games. Like, you look at Ocarina of Time, and most of the story is just... Uh, it, it just shows the main characters, and not a lot else happens. In this game, they actually have personality, they talk a lot more, you know? Even the NPCs, a lot of them, Talma from the pub, um, the chief of Kakriko Village, you know, they all have some sort of quirk and some personality to them. What else? What else is there about this game? There's loads of extras to do, so it's replayable the tons of it. The only thing is, you can't play through a second time and have any differences. This can be the exact same way as the first time. So, if you did all the side quests the first time through the game, is there any reason to play the second time? If you really enjoyed the game, obviously. Then yes. But... Who knows, that's up to you. Anyways, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed this series. Oh, is it going to show it? No, okay, never mind. The next series that's coming up is going to be something that somebody recommended to me and something that I've been planning to make for a long, long time. But I haven't been able to because I always had the Dazzle. And since I got the Howpitch now, or the Howpog, or however you want to pronounce it, I can do a bit better. I can't do HD quality, but I can do component cable HD quality, you know? It's not quite as good. That's what you've been seeing throughout this series. Better than SCART plugs and crap like that, but that's quite sad actually. At least his mother is watching over it. Anyway, but I can do the component version, which is nice. And it should be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our cannon is still there. I'm sure it was brown before, wasn't it? Whatever. I think that's about all I want to say, really. We just wait out the credits now until the rest of the plot comes up now. <laughs> they can travel safely now. All the monsters seem to have gone. Since we beat Ganondorf. I found it weird how Zant showed up at the very end when Ganondorf was had lost already. And then Ganondorf sort of passed out. <laughs> when Zant appeared. I, I don't quite follow what happened there. I think it might have been because Ganondorf might have been controlling Zant to an extent, manipulating him a bit, and then Zant realised once he was beat by us that he could help us a bit in the final battle. That's my take on it, I'm not certain. Ah, the mansion. It looks a lot better in this screening by you. <laughs> Love. Than it did when we first went there, I think. In the credits it looks better than in the main game. <laughs> Still. Sacred Grove. He's getting his research done. I suppose it would be a nice place to find for researchers, wouldn't it? For architects and stuff. You know, to find ruins like that. And back in our hometown, it really was a nice story of farm boy turns hero, turns worldwide hero, or I don't know, is Hyrule supposed to be the entire entirety of the world, or is it just like a bit of it? Not entirely sure. Might just be like one area. Ah, oh, baby. 
She was proper preggers when we saw her last. What are they all looking at so weirdly? <laughs> Yay, all the kids are home. Nice screening of the desert. While I don't like deserts in games, they do make nice sunsets. You know, when when looking at them. I didn't realise how long the credits were, and it's all because he's doing all this screening. You know, screening around. Okay. Nope, okay. Never mind. It's the Arbiter's Grounds first. But we are coming back to the mirror sort of area where where the mirror was. And that's where the rest of the story is going to be. Here we go. Long I'm pretty sure that's the end of the plot. There might be a tiny bit more at the end of the credits, but it's such a sad ending. We're never going to see Midna again, and she's one of my favourite characters from the entire series. And she destroyed the mirror so that no evil could come out of the Twilight Realm again, or, you know, anything go there, I guess. But... Hey, it's good also that they made this big character design for Midna, and only used it in a couple of scenes. I like how they did that. Some people might see it as wasted resources or some crap like that, but... It was nice to see what she really looked like in the end. None of the spirits are showing up at the springs now either. I don't know if that's supposed to be saying something, is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Watching that bird. Ah, uh, don't go. <laughs> I 
I can't remember the credits being this long. <laughs> what did you guys think about this game? Have you played it before? Yourself? Have you... Did you find it in certain parts difficult? Did you... Hey then. <laughs> Check your opinions in the comments or in a post or whatever, wherever you're watching. Like I was saying earlier though, the next series coming up is going to be sort of a mini-series, but at the same time, it's a modern game. As in, it's sort of a modern game. It's for PS3, but also for another console, a PS2. It's for PS2 and PS3. I need, I'll need to get the quality of the videos right up, so the episodes are going to be shorter than this one. They're going to be like 15 to 20 minutes each. That's the plan, anyway. And I think that's a good thing. The episodes in this series, I kept long so they can make a lot of progress in the dungeons without it feeling like it was like 500 episodes per dungeon. Per dungeon. I do more than that. So the next one is going to be shorter. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Looking forward to it. It's actually similar to this game in quite a few ways. <laughs> I just noticed how many hints I'm giving. But, you yeah, know, it happens. Somebody out there already knows what it is. That's all I'm saying. I can't remember her name. What was her name? Leah? It, no. Something like that. This is just showing that Link's adventure is still continuing. I'm not sure if it's supposed to hint to another game in the Twilight Princess sort of universe kind of thing. Or, or if it's just saying that the Zelda series is going to carry on. I'm not sure myself. That's a lot more colourful now, isn't it? Bloody hell. Blew up the flags and everything. And there we go. That's the end. Yep, yeah, all rights, including the copyrights, is Nintendo's. Obviously not mine. <laughs> I don't know why I have to say that, but obviously it's not made by me. The end. I just want to see if there's anything else after the end. Because every now and again we get a game where it says the end for like half hour and then it goes off and there's a bit more cutscene. But it doesn't look like it this time. So, this has been Green XI. I hope you've enjoyed this series. I know I have. <laughs> there's been the odd bit that's been a bit moany, I know. But I know I have. I'll see you again really soon, folks. <laughs>